The roads and trails at Garden of the Gods are still very busy tonight as Labor Day winds down and the traditional Labor Day vintage baseball game took the field today for the first time in two years. Cardio News Channel 13's Riley Carroll was at that game. She joins us live from Garden of the Gods right now. Riley. Heather, baseball and history fans gathered at Rock Ledge Ranch just a few hours ago, but to the casual bystander, it might have looked like a few centuries ago. An American pastime celebrated on an American holiday. This Labor Day baseball game isn't just any ball game. It plays by vintage rules in vintage uniforms. We are playing by the rules of 1864. That was the last year that the no glove was uh, in play. And then also you could catch the ball on one bounce. It was the home team, the Camp Creek Cloudbusters versus the All-Star Baseball Club of Colorado Territory. Melissa Cowan is the lead historical interpreter and educator at Rock Ledge Ranch. She's also the only woman on the Cloudbusters. She says today is about honoring the working. Celebrating the working man today. Um, Labor Day um, was first started by um, the Carpenters Union. Um, and Colorado was one of the first states to actually um, have Labor Day as a holiday way back in 1887. After the pandemic stole a year from the Labor Day tradition, both teams are ready to steal back some bases and a win. Oh man, we are ready for the win. Um, there's been years where mm, we maybe left the hometown cranks with a bit to be desired. Um, so we're coming out today ready to fight. Now, of course, I have to tell you the final score. The Cloudbusters did lose, but it was a really close game, 30 to 25 with the All-Stars winning. Looking over Rock Ledge Ranch here at Garden of the Gods City Park, Riley Carroll reporting for KRDO News Channel 13. Hi.